Hey there, this is my one week postpartum update, sharing with you how we're really doing after a little over a week with a newborn. And since I've been documenting this pregnancy and shared our baby girl's birth story, I wanted to give a quick update after a week of postpartum because life definitely does change when you have a new baby and I just want to share from my experience. I know it's different for everybody, but for me, this time has been really different and thankfully the recovery has been really smooth so far and I think there's a lot of factors that helped with that and a lot of variables and so I just feel very thankful that so far recovery has been really good and this has been the best recovery so far of my three babies. So for me personally, I have been taking rest seriously, especially the first few days and after having a home birth, it was so nice to just be at home, to rest at home and to have people come to me and bring meals. I had a lot of support lined up with family and friends. We set up a meal train and had people from our church and neighbors and family bring food and that was a huge blessing, especially for the first week. So I would highly recommend a meal train to let people drop off food so you don't have to think about cooking so much. Have some things that you can just heat up because you're on a 24 hour schedule with baby and you just eat when you can in between things. It might not be at meal times, but that has been really nice and I'm so thankful for all the support. My husband took a week off of work and my mother-in-law came to stay with us for a few weeks. And so I just wanted to share that having that support made a huge difference because a lot of times it might look like someone's doing it all and they're not. <laughs> That's the secret is that you can't do it all and you have to be able to ask for help and to accept help, which I think I'm doing a better job at this time than the first time around. I can definitely tell that I'm more easygoing this time because with my first baby, we would tiptoe around to not wake her up. And with this third baby, she just sleeps through the noise of the other kids running around. I'm throwing a load of laundry in the washer or running the vacuum or something and there's loud noise happening and she just sleeps through it. That might be part of just the newborn phase that they sleep a lot, but that has been nice to not have to worry about making noise because she's been a great sleeper. But for me, I have been trying to rest and just take things easy. I have done some light housework when I feel up to it and just trying not to push myself. So if I feel tired, I need to sit and rest or I need to take a nap or ask for someone else to do something like that. Can you do the laundry? Can you bring me my water bottle? Can you hold the baby while I go to the bathroom? And just asking people that are around to help with little things like that and also to not feel bad about it and not feel guilty for asking for help. I think that's a huge thing for moms. We think we have to do it all and we really don't. And people want to help, they just don't always know how. And so I remember with my first baby, I would think about asking people for help, but it would stress me out, so I would just wait and do it myself, or I would ask, but then feel bad about it and have negative thoughts, and this time around, I'm really working on my mindset around that, coaching myself, and also explaining to people what I need, so I think I'm being more vocal about it, communicating better this time around, and since it's not my first baby, I think I know more of what I need. But then again, it's a different experience this time and so I'm still learning and I don't feel like I have it all together. And so I'm just very thankful for all the help, any and all help at this point. Um, I've had some postpartum symptoms that I actually haven't been very sore and I remember being sore for a while, for several weeks after my other babies, but I haven't been very sore, I'm thankful for that. Um, I've had night sweats this week, which only started around one week postpartum. I've had several nights in a row with night sweats of just being like soaked and having to change my shirt. And so that's been different. I know that's just part of the hormone drop after having a baby. Your hormones have to reevaluate and get back to normal. And so sweating is just part of that. That's something that I've noticed in several days in a row. So I wanted to share that. I've been going for walks outside, trying to get some fresh air 
and with cooler temperatures happening I try to go in the middle of the day when it's not as cold and to just get that fresh air and exercise and it's a mood booster as well to just be outside especially if there's sunshine and to look around at nature it's fall right now so the leaves are changing and it's beautiful that's my favorite season so I'm trying to enjoy it and bring baby outside bundled up if it's chilly and she loves being outside she loves the fresh air and the sunshine the noise is outside she loves the light so that's been really neat to just watch her learning and experiencing things for the very first time it's so special i've been baby wearing in a wrap a few times and baby loves that she got really still and really quiet the first time i put her in a wrap and fell right asleep so it was really cool to see that and i love baby wearing anyway I have an ergo carrier that I used for my other kids that I'm planning to use again, but I think for newborns they really like being super snug and wrapped up because it's like the womb, and so I'm using the baby wrap right now since she's so tiny. I have noticed that I've had a lot of soreness in my neck and my shoulders from holding baby, from nursing, from sleeping in weird positions, from having that shift from being pregnant to not being pregnant and now my body is shifting and changing so my muscles have been sore um, in my neck and shoulders mostly and so trying to relax make myself relax um, my mother-in-law is actually a licensed massage therapist and so I took advantage of that and had her give me a neck massage or a sh shoulder massage a few times while she was here and I've even thought about doing a postnatal massage because things are shifting so much. Um, I did go to the chiropractor and get adjusted after about a week, I think it was six days postpartum and that made a huge difference. I would have gone in before that if it wasn't over the weekend but I think that was a huge help just to make sure everything's aligned and working properly and chiropractic has been so helpful throughout pregnancy and afterwards and so it's part of our regular weekly routine to get adjusted and so baby got her first adjustment as well which is a very small gentle adjustment but that really helped babies with uh, preventing problems with gas or pooping or if they uh, have something out of place then there can be some slight gentle adjustments that help them to make sure that their bodies are working the way they're supposed to. And as far as baby, she's making lots of diapers. She's a champ at diapers. <laughs> we have changed so many diapers and she's gone through a lot of outfits. So AKA lots of laundry. We've been doing so much laundry the first week from all of us being at home, from having extra people here and from you know spit up in diapers and outfits and all you know the bigger kids as well go through a lot of outfits so we've just had a lot of laundry this first week um baby has had a little stuffy nose like kind of a a runny nose here and there or a little stuffy and so if i notice that when she's nursing or if she has a hard time latching because of boogers in her nose then I've been using the nose Frida and that works so well and it's an amazing invention I'm super impressed with it and so glad we don't have to use the little bulb because that's just really gross there's no way to clean inside of that and it's not super accurate getting all the boogers out so the nose Frida I would highly recommend I'll link it below because if you are having a baby or you have a baby you're gonna need one of these until they can at least blow their nose for themselves so I've been using the nose Frida maybe once a day throughout this week uh, whenever she seems a little stuffy and so that has been really helpful and clears it right out baby has hit a lot of milestones this week and so I'm trying to just soak in the first the baby first and to take lots of pictures and we've just been staring at her just so in love and so smitten and she's a really sweet natured baby so when she's awake she'll have alert times where she just looks around and turns her head she loves looking at the window and loves seeing the contrast of the light coming in the window and the shadows on the wall so that's been really neat to just watch her discover things and now that we are uh, over a week from baby being born and a week postpartum, um, my husband's gone back to work and my mother-in-law has gone home. And so all of that support that I had the first week, I really feel like the first week was super smooth because of all the help 
and so I was kind of bracing myself for when <laughs> they were leaving and I was here at home with three kids for the first time but it actually went fine and it's gonna be okay I have to coach myself to not have anxiety or panic and just say you know what we'll figure this out and we can simplify things so if there's too much going on let's just focus on one thing at a time and so helping the kids with their snacks and their outfits and their diaper changes and cleaning up messes it's just a new dynamic having a new baby and two toddlers in the mix so now we have three under five and it is super busy and you know it's time intensive with all the kids they need a lot of things but I have noticed that the older kids are getting more independent they're able to do more on their own and we are practicing listening to mama and helping me by bringing me my water bottle or bringing me a clean diaper or taking something to the trash taking something to the laundry basket they can follow those simple commands we're just practicing actually obeying if they don't feel like it. So that's been interesting of getting used to the new baby and also dealing with the normal toddler stuff. Um, the other kids have enjoyed coloring, going outside to play. If we have company, I try to make sure that the other kids get attention, have somebody play with them, and maybe bring over an activity. Some of our friends brought over sticker books and the kids loved that and they got a lot of entertainment out of putting stickers on different pages. And so that was a great activity that wasn't super messy, but they enjoyed it. And so I think that was a great idea. They also love playing with chalk outside and uh, having friends come over to just play and right now it's fall so they were jumping in the leaves and so I try to make sure that they have attention, that they have somebody uh, to play with so even having a babysitter come over one day this week was really helpful so that the older kids get that attention while I'm paying attention to baby and nursing a lot and helping. A baby with all the newborn stuff and so I would highly recommend asking for help whatever that looks like for you just having some backup has made a big difference of knowing someone's gonna come over to bring food or knowing somebody's coming over to help with the older kids or just asking people <laughs> to, um, to you know, do something while they're here like do you mind doing this um, so I think I just come back around to that because it is such a difficult thing to ask for help sometimes but it makes a big difference and people really want to help, so you just need to ask. It's okay, and you don't have to feel guilty about it. Uh, we stocked up on snacks for the kids to try to have some fun things here for them, some foods that they like to eat because we're gonna be home a lot more, getting used to the new baby, and so I think that was helpful to just be as prepared as possible, and thankfully, there's ways to order things online to get <laughs> quickly here so if we run out of something we can order it or have somebody bring something from the store and not have to go out so it's been so nice to just be at home and the other kids are helping with the baby they want to take care of her they want to hold her and bring me outfits and help me dress her and that's been really sweet to see them bonding and just loving their baby sister so She's been a champ. They've been awesome. Let me give you a close up here because she's just gorgeous. <laughs> she's waking up right now and making faces, but oh, she's so little and so perfect. And we're just so happy to have her here. We've had a good first week and I know that it's not always smooth after recovery. And I've had some friends that were due around the same time as me this time that have gone through c-sections and have had difficult recoveries and so i try to encourage mamas in whatever situation you're in to ask for help and to get plenty of rest and to take care of you to be gracious with yourself because this season is just there's a lot there's a lot that goes on uh, with your body and getting recovered from being pregnant and going through the birth and adjusting to life with a newborn so I just want to share my experience and share our joy with you uh, we're just so thankful to have a sweet healthy baby and to be able to get to know her and thankful for our friends and family and the support during this time <laughs> Tra um, changing to a family of five we have three kids now, which is uh, crazy but amazing, and we're so thankful. So I wanted to thank you for following along on our journey and just share some of what's been going on with us 
in this first week postpartum with a newborn baby. So I hope you enjoyed this update. I'd love to invite you to subscribe to this channel for more videos coming soon, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.